Let me take this opportunity to extend season's greetings to my constituents of Babolo, citizens of St. Lucia, here and abroad. It is indeed a jolly good time of year, a time to share love and a time to bring glad tidings. Let us do more than we are accustomed to in remembering the less fortunate among us. As parliamentary representative for Babolo, the constituency that I am extremely proud to lead over the past months, I have done all in my powers to bring back the spirit of equity and hope across the constituency. Through a number of national and community-based programs and projects, I have ensured that you, my esteemed constituents, experience some measure of relief, both economically and socially. Around this time next year, you shall be hearing of the execution of more robust development projects which have already started or on the way to commence. My beloved constituents of Babolo, it's evident that no constituency is immune to crime. We see it, we hear it, we hear about it, we talk about it, and we feel the impacts and effects. Together, our individual and collective actions can make our communities and St. Lucia, by extension, crime-free. I would like to extend season's greetings to the staff of the ministry that I have the, the privilege of leading, the Ministry for the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor, and Gender Affairs. Let us use this time to reflect as we remain determined to delay to deliver a more effective and efficient service to the public. I would like to extend season's greetings to the staff of the ministry that I have the privilege of leading, the Ministry of the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor, and Gender Affairs. Let us use this time to reflect as we remain determined to deliver a more efficient and effective service to the public. The arduous work of our law enforcement personnel must be singled out. Nearly every day, your resolve is tested, but you have proven time and again that our safety is of utmost priority. As Minister for Home Affairs, I pause to say a big thank you and to wish you and your family a wonderful Christmas. Through your unflinching desire to ensure safety of life and property, you are echoing the government's putting people first development agenda. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the support of my family, my husband, my son, and extended family, the Prime Minister, my cabinet colleagues and parliamentarians and friends while I look forward to us doing it again, bigger and better in the new year. Merry Christmas to you. C'est Jean Babonoa, moi qui avais souhaité les autres toutes bonnes Noël, à nous m'a dit pour la bénédiction bon Dieu, quand nous a fini en l'année, et que nous avons préparé pour l'année neuf là. Moi qui avais des autres pour vivre en la paix, c'est pour ça que nous sommes un pays actuellement qui n'y a chai quim, Mais si nous prédier nous rester ensemble nous supporter yon à l'autre nous kay joine en chai satisfaction moi ka mando pou pran ka les grand moun ces petits enfants ça qui malade en tant ça là c'est côté nous pour monter naturel avec an gade ki manye nou sa viv kon yon go fami a babono et ka sept lisi an nou monter naturel pour nous toutes et an nou mande pou bénédiction bon dieu Qu'on nous a préparé pour l'année neuf là. Bonne Noël, Merry Christmas and God's richest blessing.